we are shaped by what surrounds us. For Willis Gibson, it's Stillwater, Oklahoma. When I was a bit younger, I used to just hop from one thing to another. It's the home where he grew up. Hi. The room he made history in. <laughs> it's easy to start off, but it's really difficult to master. Despite life's twists and turns. When he plays, it's hard not to just watch. You are watching a master and mover of shapes. Fully solved. And he's only 14, while everything else in his room? I have an old box TV, original NES, original N64. All the gaming equipment. Is much older. Me. <laughs> Born into a family of gamers. Blue Scooty. That's my online name. You would think he's born in the wrong era. I think he's born in the right era to bring this stuff back. So far back, it's a wonder if it'll work. Whoa. Power on, power off. Whoa. The puzzle video game. No man, it works. Made 40 years ago. I love. That many of us played, a kid from Stillwater in his home, from his room, perfected. A one to two on school days. Playing hours. Yeah. Every day. Mm -hmm for two years. I got the 999999. To the point Tetris couldn't count any higher. I basically press into the back of it. So yeah, you can see how fast it is. And then if I do that with every finger. Willis took a technique called rolling. Yeah, rolling. You can just shoot pieces to the left and right. And rolled himself into a world record. The wonder kid himself, Blue Scooty! The word got out about the kid who topped Tetris. And there it is! Goody taking the win there. But it was a victory short-lived when his world record was beaten by somebody else the next day. With the world records changing hands multiple times in a single week. Willis Gibson, you'll also learn, is shaped by competition. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try and beat him back. Not an easy feat. December was a hard month. Like I'll be walking the hallways and you'll just, you'll just yell, Tetris, and that's all, all I'll hear. The college town that has zero arcades had something happen on a Thursday in late December. For Willis Gibson, everything just fell into place. And he almost fell apart. Yes! Reached level 157, cleared 1,500 lines. Oh my god. 1,511. I couldn't feel my fingers and mainly hyperventilating. <laughs> I'm gonna pass out. Beat the game even the makers thought was unbeatable. It's the first time that um, the game didn't beat the player. The game had crashed. And so had Willis Gibson's world. Right after he crashed the game, the next day was the visitation. His dad, Adam Gibson. I, I wish he could have seen it. Died of a heart attack just before his son's life-shaping moment. He was still able to just be him for just a little bit while he's playing Tetris, so. I just wanted to dedicate it to him. I want to do that, so I did. What better tribute than to beat the game from his dad's generation? I love you, dad, on the back. This keepsake goes to every Tetris tournament. I see Tetris gummies. I don't know. I might eat all of them. No! And Willis is looking for the next old game to master. Wow. When your kid wants to do something, oh, pen. I mean, you just find a way to do it. Wait, so right here? Yeah. All right. Life throws us pieces that don't always fit perfectly. Where do you want me to sign it? Anywhere. <laughs> We're all forced to navigate what comes next. It all plays right into who we are. In Stillwater, I'm Jobin Punniker.